please, you know I always put you onto things when I can. This tumbler was only seven bucks at the Stainless Steel Depot, and it already comes with a hole, like us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was really inappropriate. Anyway, it already comes with a hole and I love the lid. So I think these are actually nicer than the Starbucks ones, which are $15 each. Come on, girl. Like, no, 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 no. You got to get these ones. So what I do is I take a piece of tape and I put it around like the bottom just so that when I'm trying to put my glitter in there, it doesn't fly everywhere. It stays confined in its, its little section. And honestly, the hole comes pretty big. Just like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you were thinking it. Yeah, but you said it. The hole is pretty big. So really, I think it only took me about 10 minutes to get the glitter in there no it didn't even take me 10 minutes it took me like five minutes it went in there very easily just like i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done so it goes in there pretty quickly i just shook it around for a little bit now i used two glitters only i didn't want to use a fine glitter however both of these mixes have a little bit of smaller cuts of glitter in them so it was if it was perfect these two glitters were perfect and i love how they looked together now i know what you're thinking what we're just doing a bearing snow globe ah, wrong we're doing an amazing snow globe maybe somebody else has done it i don't know i personally haven't seen it but i really wanted to do a v split snow globe tumbler oh my gosh just wait just keep watching keep watching so once you're done with all of your glitter pull your tape off and then i held it over the trash can and just brushed off all the excess glitter just kind of cleaned up my surface and then i'm actually using solution that already comes ready for snow globes it is from Two Moms Craft Shack. It is incredible. Now, some of you might be thinking, why would I buy that when I could just mix my own? It's fine. Mix your own if you want to. Um, this already comes ready to go. So all I have to do is take it and pour it into my tumbler. It works amazing. The glitter has the perfect amount of movement. And I feel like whenever I use Elmer's glue or whenever I use glycerin, sometimes I can't get the ratios correct or I've some people have had it mold with glycerin. So I just avoid all of those issues and use this one that's already ready to go. I actually made three snow globe tumblers within like a 15 minute time span. So I really like using the solution. But like I said, you guys are welcome to use um, baby oil, 100% baby oil, or you could mix your own solution. If you guys do decide like, hey, I don't want to mix my own solution. I'd rather just order something that already comes ready to go. Two Moms Craft Shack is a amazing business to support. They're super sweet. They're small business owners and just the kindest people I have ever met. So I really like supporting their business. I will link in this. I will link in the description in case you do want this already ready to go solution. But if you don't, um, you can use 100% pure baby oil or you can use um, gl vegetable glycerin and distilled water. Make sure it's distilled water. Okay, guys? So I used that solution from Two Ounce Craft Shack. I just put it in here, shook it all around. I put a little piece of paper towel at the bottom and taped it off just to hold the liquid in and then that allows me to really shake the the cup around as much as possible just to get all the air bubbles out from underneath the glitter and make sure I have it full of solution now I always spray 99% alcohol into the little hole that pops any air bubbles that are there and then if you need to add more glitter I'm sorry not glitter if you need to add more solution you can I added just a tiny bit more to fill in all of the air bubbles and then this is how I like to seal my tumblers. I like to use hot glue and put it in the hole and then I put it in the surrounding area and then see what it looks like when it dries. Once it's 100% dry, I go over with some glitter and UV resin. My UV resin of choice is Resin Rockers. Not only is the owner super, super sweet, but it is the clearest UV resin I have ever come across. I will link it in the description. However, I will give you more options and also link an Amazon one just in case. But I basically just try to cover the bottom of my tumbler as much as I can with my little UV resin and glitter mix. 
and then I take a lighter or one of those long stem fire thingy, blowy dragon thingies, and I pop all of my bubbles. And then once I pop my bubbles, I hold my UV lamp. I like to do three minutes just to be safe, especially because I'm trying to seal in that liquid. I do three minutes just to make sure it's super duper ultra mega, you know, cured. And then once it's cured and I can tap on it and it's hard, I'm not going to say what I was thinking. I go ahead and I do one more thin coat of clear. And that takes about two minutes to cure. The, the the super thin coat I do on top, I just spread it around everywhere like you spread your butt cheeks on it. I'm just kidding. Huh, I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to be this ratchet, but I don't know how to change. I popped my bubbles the same and cured it under a UV lamp. Once my snow globe was secure, it was full of liquid and it looked amazing. We were ready to move on to our next step. I did clean it down with alcohol and a paper towel just in case you get solution somewhere or you touch it with sticky fingers or maybe you picked your nose and picked up your cup and I don't know, after abs like left a little residue of booger on your cup. I don't know your life. Just wipe it down. And then I'm taking this Lisa Frank inspired vinyl i will link the shop where i got it in the description there are also lots of amazing etsy shops if you just type in keywords like lisa frank vinyl a million options will come down will come down <laughs> will come up um i will link the shop though um so i fold you saw me fold it my vinyl in half that gives me kind of the perfect v now i was gonna bring the v a little bit lower but i really didn't want to cover up that much of the glitter because I wanted you to be able to see that gorgeous movement. So that's why I ended up deciding not to bring it so low. And then all you do is just wrap it around, remove all of the air bubbles. And then once you have your V in place and there's no bubbles, you just pull up towards the sky and then you pull it inside of the tumbler. Now try to stretch it when you're doing this, okay? And then you just take your X-Acto knife and you go around the rim and you slowly slice and then you remove all of that excess and the next thing i'm going to do is epoxy over this i'm going to do 20 mls 10 mls of part a 10 mls of part b of flynn sister supply co don't even take my word for it girl just freaking use it i'm not even kidding you and then while my cup is turning, I'm going to go ahead and start rhinestoning my lid. These rhinestones are from Be Createful. It's a very beautiful aqua opal gorgeous blue. I really, really like these. I honestly was going to lie to you and tell you that these were mine stones, but they're not. They're my friend Nikki's. She's here visiting from Colorado and she brought all of her rhinestones. So I'm totally bumming off of her because that's just what, you know, that's just what we do. You know, you borrow your friend's stuff and tell them you're going to give it back, but then you never give it back. That's just, it's a way of life. It's a lifestyle. Our tumbler has been spinning overnight. It's completely dry. I will give you $5 if you find a bubble over this vinyl. You won't. You won't find a bubble because it's Flynn sister's epoxy and it's the best. And I'm not just saying that because she's one of my best friends. I mean it. Just try it for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and do yellow vinyl for my strips. And I'm going to layer it with a very beautiful holographic washi tape. Now, my normal go-to colors are always pink. Pink, purple. Pink, purple. Pink, 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 pink. And don't get me wrong. My love of pink is not going anywhere. We're going to do lots of pink, lots of pink, but I don't know. I just really wanted to do different, different colors with this. That's why I decided to go with yellow. And then I have this very gorgeous holographic washi tape. And that's the one that I decided to go over with. Now you guys here, you guys just see me cutting the excess wash, um, vinyl off to create that perfect v the good thing about washi tape is that it already comes in a little skinny strip for you so you don't have to cut anything on your cricut i love it it's so beautiful i do want to give you advice anytime that you're using vinyl strips just take a brush and take some mod podge and just do a clear clear super thin coat over your vinyl and let it fully dry that's going to seal it in so that your vinyl doesn't repel the epoxy 
And then I drew a drip on my iPad and I cut it out of vinyl. I am going to go ahead and give you guys a link to a drip on Etsy so that you guys can use that one. Um, I do want you guys to know that in my baddie app, I have all of my files that I have ever made. They're all there available for free download. It's one of the perks of being a member of my BIP app. So if you guys ever decide to join, you guys get access to literally everything I have ever designed myself. Um, but I promise I will link a really good drip for you to use. Okay. So I just cut mine out of vinyl and I am going to go ahead and do, I picked a vinyl that was the most closest color to my lid because I'm actually going to do a rhinestone drip. Now I'm going to epoxy over this vinyl just because I really want to secure that, you know, vinyl drip under epoxy but once i have fully secured it once my epoxy coat over it is dry i'm going to go ahead and do my rhinestone drip now the rhinestone drip is going to be the very very last part of your tumbler okay so you need to make sure that your coat of epoxy doesn't have any imperfections or anything because you're not going to go back and epoxy again over the drip you don't need to um, if you're using good glue, which there's a lot of really good glues out there, there is Gem Tack, Fusion Tack from Super Tight. Um, LC has an incredible rhinestone glue. I will link it in the description. There are so many options and they all work amazing. I've always used Fusion Tack and my, my rhinestones don't, they don't go anywhere. They stay. So I'm pretty, I'm a pretty big fan of this glue. Now, what I recommend for you to do is just take a sanding block, like a very skinny one, and you could just kind of scuff up the epoxy a little bit over where you're going to rhinestone. You want to be careful not to do it anywhere else because you're not going to add any more epoxy. So you just want to scuff up the little areas where you are going to place your rhinestones. And then you go ahead and just go in with your glue. I'm always going to tell you guys the same thing when it comes to rhinestoning. Always secure the rim. This is super important because you want to make sure that your rhinestones align perfectly at the top. You don't want them to accidentally slide down and then you have all these random gaps in between the lid and your tumbler. You want that flawless rhinestone look. So definitely make sure you follow the correct steps when doing your drip. You're, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do a line around the rim and you're going to do it in each size, okay? Just little one, medium one, big one, whatever. Alternate, right? We're doing the scatter method, which is my favorite. Once you've completely done the entire top, place your cup upside down. Feel free to drag down any rhinestones to make them align perfectly and just let it sit until it completely dries. That way, you know you have a very clean, flawless uh, transition between the lid and the cup and then you can move on the most important thing for your drip is make sure you secure the outline first always secure the outline so that you can maintain that perfect drip shape if you just start placing rhinestones and you get to the edges and you don't have enough stones that fit that size you're not going to have clean edges so always, 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 always do your edges first so that you can make sure you're doing it right on the edge of the drip and you're keeping that perfect drip shape. That's what's going to give you a nice finished product. So for every single drip I did, I always ensured the outer edges and then I would just go back in and fill in the rest of the spots. Um, most of this I am going to finish off in a time lapse because... You don't want to watch me painfully place these stones one by one. Or maybe you do. I don't know. I mean, I would watch you guys because I'm obsessed with you. So I would I would literally watch you pick your nose and roll your boogers into balls and flick them onto your booger wall. I would because I'm loyal and I love you. But I'm not going to put you through that agony. So I'm going to do a time lapse, but you get the gist, okay? Do your outlines and then fill in the gaps. But always start with your edges. I... This was the last step, guys. After you do your drip, after you're done and you're happy with the way that it looks, you want to let it sit for about two days for your glue to fully dry and cure. 
make sure you read the directions on your glue. They all have different drying times. They all have different curing times. So just always make sure that you are looking out for that before you wash your tumbler. After about three to four days, it's safe to go in there and wash your rhinestones and wash your tumbler, remove any glue residue, but you definitely want to make sure that you're following the dry time and cure instructions on your bottle of glue. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I really wanted to show you how to do a beautiful snow globe tumbler but i wanted you to think outside the box and create something different something unique and i think we accomplished that here overall i'm very happy with how this looks leave me a comment and let me know what you would like me to teach you next this is absolutely beautiful i'm obsessed with this i'm obsessed with you i'm obsessed with bad bunny but right now i'm mad at him because he's dating candle and that's not okay with me all right, my precious angels, I love you so much. Besitos.